done many videos lately because the old uh, camera has packed up on me um, on my crash helmet it's decided to stop playing uh, stop recording the audio and the video records really bright so it's like really really bright videos it's not really a lot of bottle doesn't record any sound so it's no good really so I've had to um, save up to order a new one and with the channel only getting me about 20 quid a month and um, it's, it's taken a while to uh, use the money from the channel to actually buy a new camera and uh, not having that much money anyway I couldn't just like go out and buy one so I've had to wait for that uh, anyway in the meantime my mate Brian's given me this um, points housing cover and come up with a suggestion about um, because I was just going to clean it up because it's got paint in there so I was just going to basically get all the, all the paint out and clean it up make it look a bit nicer but then what what Brian suggested is why don't I file file the fins off because his one's got like a this is, is, is like perfectly flat and he's got he bought it and he's got triumph across his one engraved into it and looks quite good but, um, he suggested taking these fins off and then just polishing it up so it's just like a an alley a polished alley side cover rather than the uh, rather than the chrome cover which the triumphs have got on so i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna do what he suggested i think i'm gonna file all these off and smooth all that that front face out and then polish it up so it looks like a nice polished alley cover I'm not sure about to do the holes because in there they've just got like a couple of um, a couple of uh, uh, screws, um, posi drive screws that hold the other plate on. So I don't know. I'll probably have to maybe get some countersink um, stainless ones to go in there and just countersink them two holes a little bit so they fit in there flush. But, um, I haven't got them at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I think I'm going to um, file these down and smooth that off and, and see what we can do there, really. See if we can make that a look, looking a bit a bit nicer. So, whether it's going to work or not, I don't know. It might take quite a bit of filing, though. So... quite flat I think the uh, I think the uh, the last bit I need to put some sandpaper on a flat surface and try and sand it down that way so I don't really want to use the foil onto the the, the face which you're going to be seeing <laughs> well, I've done a bit of um, the usual talking to myself for the last half an hour I've uh, got that down to pretty flat using the 320 grit paper on that to start with and then um, used after that used the, uh, the, thousand, the thousand grit wet and dry so soaked it in water and, and done it that way and now uh, that's quite it's lovely and smooth now the only marks on it are like pit holes through the uh, through the casting so what we do now is polish it up see if we can polish it up the same as the 
same as the sides really. So I'll give that a go. What polish have I got? It's gonna take a few a few goes I reckon to make it look nice. Probably better off taking it round round home and putting it on the uh, the buffer, the buffing wheel. In there, isn't it? I think that'll look alright actually. What do you reckon? That'll look alright, wouldn't it? Once that's all uh, mirrored up, mirror polished up, I think that'll look a treat on the side. Take that old, um, metal one off that I've got on there. Look at that. You can almost see me face in there. And try and fit it on. Let's see what it looks like on the bike. So you probably uh, yeah. Oh. Need a new gasket for this. The gasket's a bit neff. That's the old one. Points gap 15 foul. It's got the original sticker in there, look at that. Now, are these screws big enough? I'm not sure if these are big enough, these screws. Get some bigger ones there. There you go, look at that. Just give that a bit of a clean up, and that, I think that looks pretty good. Oh, do you like the, uh, the badge down here that Brian gave us yesterday? Pretty neat. He bought them off some bloke that makes them up. Don't know if you can. Yeah, that thing is better than having the uh, better than having the just the plain metal ones with the with the screen print on them, which always comes off when you clean it. It's got the old brass looking one. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Give that another polish. Bring them up like the like the uh, casings that Brian Brian polished for me yesterday. I think it looks all right, really. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? I think yeah, I think that's all right. You can just see the, uh, the faint lines where the uh, Really faint lines on that on that cover where the fins used to be, but after a few polishes, I reckon they'll disappear. Yeah, I think they, I think that looks all right. Right, righty. Right. So thanks for watching, and when I get my camera back, we'll uh, we'll do some. Uh, I want to get my new camera, we'll do some more um, videoing out on the road and I think, um, uh, yeah, Brian's ordered one of the cameras as well so there'll be a pair of us, so you won't only see like, the lads in front of me but you'll also see me riding the bike as well 
me riding this bike, or the excesses or whatever. So until uh, until I get the cameras, until we get the cameras set up, we'll we'll see you then. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>